This is a do or die situation. Big game five. Always decisive. 2K Sports presents the playoffs of the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. GA, it's all yours. Well, Kyrie Irving rediscovered his maternal lineage with the White Mountain family of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. He lost his mother at a young age, and by connecting with her roots, he's found a piece of himself. The tribe gave him the name Little Mountain. Kevin? Great story, DA. Thank you. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Markin and Carter are up front. White is out there with the general, and it's Porter and at the small forward. And for the Nets, Lavert and Durant out on the perimeter. Jared Allen is out there with Jordan, and it's Irving at the one. It'll be the Nets off the tip. The putback, Markinen pulls it in. And so Markinen will bring it up for the Bulls. They'd like to continue the success they had on Friday night here. And they definitely kept their eyes on the prize, put on a real entertaining comeback, and that's a feel-good game when you can win like that. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. Pass to Levert. There's the triple. You can't get that one, so the Bulls will take it the other way. Porter passes to the general. And it's sent back by Allen. Boy, that expansive reach of Allen. I mean, so good at positioning himself and using his length and timing to stifle shooters. Here's the general. First quarter of play, one minute played. And again, it's the Nets missing. Boy, they are frigid right now. I mean, failing to connect on their first four attempts. Lock at six. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Jared Allen. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what we need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off than give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. So he gets them both. Here's Irving. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Markinen against Durant. Shoots over Markinen. KD can't get it to go. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Now here's Levert. Passes it to Irving. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Bob up there for Durant. An emphatic LU jam. And Irving is comfortable running the offense. When a teammate's open, he's quick to whip it around and get him a good look. Here's the general. He's got six. And he uses the glass on the layup. The general's got eight points. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. The Nets have gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Irving passes to Jordan. Pass to Levert. Over in the corner, Allen. Six to shoot. Levert in the corner. Off target from outside. Chicago leading by six. Porter passes to the general. We're about three minutes into this first quarter, and the foul called on Jared Allen. That 
That's foul number two for him. The Nets making the switch here. Harris has checked in. Brooklyn on defense. Here's the general. He's got eight. Six on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, LeVert grabs the miss. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Here's the general after the made shot from KD. Got a piece of it. Jordan with it. And it's Carter picking him up. Levert the pass to Irving. No good with the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Outside, Porter fires for three. And the Bulls with another miss. And it's Harris with the ball for Brooklyn. Four-point game. Irving dishes to Durant. That one's not going to go. And the Bulls going the other way now. Harris, right side. And it's sent back by Carter. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Here's the general. Eight points for him. Inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Bulls shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Dinwiddie is checked in for Karis Levert. The Bulls also changing it up. Thaddeus Young. He's checked in for Lowry Markinen. Dean comes in for the general, and Chris Dunn subbed in for White. Carter hits them both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Now the pass to KD over Young. And Durant gets it to go. The assist by Irving. And that's now six points for Kevin Durant. Yeah, you look at the way Kevin Durant releases it so high. Makes it hard to block, which is why he's such an efficient inside scorer. Now, here's Porter. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shot clock at five. Here's Dunn. And nothing but hair on that one. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Harris passes to Irving. Good work defensively by Carter. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Porter with it. Harris is there. And Jordan sends it back. Hey, get that weak stuff out of here. Take it home. Jordan is fantastic at rejecting those kinds of shots. So for the Nets, Wilson Chandler's checked in for Durant, and Carooch is subbed in for Irving. And the Bulls making a change here as well. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for Otto Porter Jr. Here's Young. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Nets trail by four. Here's Dinwiddie. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Boy, it's so difficult to corral Dinwiddie. Even when you get physical with him, he finds a way to power through. Pass to Valentine. Done against Dinwiddie. Gun kicks to Levine. A three-pointer is right on target. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. 
Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, I really like this kid in college at Colorado. An effective player is Spencer Dinwiddie. He really does it all. Scores, rebounds, passes, defends. Good all-around player. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. The Bulls leading by four. Right side. He kicks it to Levine. And the jam by Levine. Levine showing you how much he enjoys rising high and pounding it down hard. Dinwiddie passes to Karuch. The Nets working the ball around now. Harris looking it over. Just five to shoot. The Nets need to get a shot off here. On deep. And it's Courage missing. Chicago's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Levine. And Levine throws it down. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a great for a second. Substitution here for Brooklyn. Allen's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Kevin Durant comes in for Wilson Chandler. Karis LeVert's checked in for Harris. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Spencer Dinwiddie. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Lowry Markinen's checked in for Wendell Carter. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Denzel Valentine. The generally's checked in for Levine. And it's wide in for Chris Dunn. So for Chicago right now. And small forward and power forward. Porter and Young. The general is out there with White. And it's Markinen in at the five. Boy, Levert showing you his unselfishness there. I mean, if you're open, he loves getting you the ball. Passes it to the general. on offense he also has a great sense of timing for win the block shots and we've got an update here so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline hey Kevin well the general in his last time out against the Nets was outstanding he scored 40 points and did something else with finding ways to force the defense to send them to the foul line he did a little bit of everything for them it just seemed like he was everywhere on the floor Kevin back to you Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him. It might force him to adjust or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Yeah, it looks like they've gained a little bit of confidence as the lid has come off the hoop. Here's the general. He's got eight. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Irving finds Levert. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. That's his first foul. Bulls making a switch here. Blakeney's checked in. On defense, the Bulls. 
Here's Karuch. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Hands it from downtown. I love the three-point shooting of Irving. Excellent at dialing it in from deep, and you've got to respect his rank. Here's the general. He's got ten. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Kevin Durant. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. They also haven't been afraid to take it strong to the hoop early on tonight. I like that. It's the second from the line. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. They trail by nine points. Pass to Durant. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. And they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from the general. Here's KD. He's got 14. Here's the pass to Karuch. Lavert with it. Releases from 15, and he drops that one in. Lavert's got four points this quarter. Boy, guys, it's so good to see somebody still taking advantage of the mid range. Lavert with the bucket. Here's the general. That's to Blakeney. Now Durant to the middle. Here's Irving. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Lowry Markinen. I don't know if there's a player in the league that has better handles than Kyrie Irving. As a matter of fact, his handles are as good as any I've seen in the history of the game. Smooth, crafty, cunning. Man, it is so much a joy to watch this guy do his thing. Here's the general. He's got 13. To the paint, here's Porter. An easy two points on the layup. And the Bulls lead by nine. Fleshing out his game more and more. I really like seeing Porter go to work inside. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for the Nets. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Take a look at the general leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. Nets trail by nine. Irving passes to KD. Nets passing it around. Let's it go from 14. That's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. The Bulls leading by seven. Here's the general. 13 points in the game. Brooklyn with the rebound. Allen's got rebound number five here tonight. And now the fast break. Durant with the ball. And he gets it done in bunches, does Durant. He's a superb scorer. He just got a marvel at his greatness. Here's the general. And Durant sends it back. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. A floater. And the layup good by Irving. 
And now just a three point Bulls lead. He's starting to find himself out there now. You know he's taking much better shots here in the second quarter. The general passes to Porter. And it's sent back by Allen. And another fast break for Brooklyn. The Nets are running. A wide open look for Durant. Yes. And it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got four assists in the game. White the pass to the general. To the inside, Porter. He makes that one drop only a second and five tries. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Passes it to Levert. 141 left now here in the second. Shoots over White. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Chicago leading by three. Here's the general. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. He shot five of six at the foul line. That free throw good from the general. And love how he's getting himself to the line this quarter. If he keeps it up, it'll end up creating some foul problems on the other side. And that can always help a team's cause. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Jared Allen. Harris comes in for Kevin Durant. And Spencer Dinwiddie subbed in for Karis LeVert. Now here's Irving. Nine points in the game so far. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. For Brooklyn, they have shot 67% from the line, going six of nine. And he makes the first. Just four seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Zach, strong first half for the team. How do you build this lead? Keep playing hard on defense, the main thing. Getting out, running, getting stops. Continue to play with pace and, uh, you know, do what we do off the offense there. We're good at that. Zach, coach, really likes the way you played, I'm sure. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at game five. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up, be physical with him. Irving and Levert are at the one and two. Duran is out there with Wilson Chandler, and it's Jordan in at the five. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Chandler, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And here we go with Chandler running it up the court. Pops it up for Jordan. It's stolen by Carter. Here's the general. And he jams it with authority. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Nets trail by eight. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Outside for Jordan. And they double up Jordan over Carter. Misses off the left iron. Chicago leading by eight. Here's the general. 17 points in the game. Defense! Defense! 
And Jordan sends it back. They get it back. Four on the shot clock. Here's the general, and there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Nets making a switch here. Allen's checked in. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Now, here is Irving. He's got 11. There's Levert. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's the general. Levert defending. And the shot goes in. And now a 10-point Bulls lead. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Irving after the made shot from the general. Durant for three. And it's White with the rebound. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Now, here is Irving. And it's Durant missing. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. That's good from the general. Carew just checked in for Durant. Sadoransky's checked in for Chicago. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Nets trail by 11. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's the general. The rebound by the Nets. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Outside for Jordan. Sadoransky against Irving. Trying to end the drought, and he knocks down the jumper. Irving's got it back down to single digits for the Nets. It sure was textbook, and Irving is fantastic in the screen roll. A solid decision maker in these set, and he also can put it in the basket himself if he needs to. No good from the general. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. And it's Levert missing. Early on, he tried to shoot his way out of this funk, but later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. Here's the general. He's got 20. Shot clock at six. Trying to get open his cart. No good from the general. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw. Some changes. Harris comes in for Allen, and Spencer Dinwiddie subbed in for Karuch. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Markinen, he's checked in for Wendell Carter. Zach Levine comes in for Young. The general he's checked in for Antonio Blakeney, and it's wide in for Sadoransky. Taking a look at the Bulls, they've got Levine. Markinen is out there with Porter, and there's the general, and it's White in at the point guard position. Irving against White. Outside Irving. Lobs it up for Jordan. It's tipped. Stolen by Markinen. Here's the general. Dinwiddie with some nice D. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Nets. Seven point differential. Nobody near Irving. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. That's 23 points for Kyrie Irving. Here's 
Here's the general. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Bulls lead by six. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. He's showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Here now is Dinwiddie. Outside Irving. And it's White with the rebound. The Bulls leading by six. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Irving against White. Irving passes to Levert. Dinwiddie wide open. And the Nets, another three. That's become more the norm for Dinwiddie now, guys. He once was a poor long-distance shooter, but now he's made a big jump in that part of his game. Here's the general, Dinwiddie covering. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Bulls. A lot of times when they needed some easy points in this game, they've been able to get to the foul line and get them. They've consistently drilled the mid-range jumper tonight as well, which has forced the D to come out on them. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Chicago. Pass to Irving. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his third assist on the night. Hey, the unselfishness there by Dinwiddie, you love it. He's all about doing what's best for the team. Got it. Nice one there from the general. The general's got 15 points here in the second half. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Irving. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. Three-pointers off the mark. The Bulls leading by seven. Here's White. And White with the stuff. The nasty handles of White. Just so gifted at putting on a show with moves like that. Brooklyn's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. And there's the pass to Irving. And it's sent back by Carter. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Arkinen can't get it to go. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. It's good. 27 points for Kyrie Irving. Great quarter for him at the offensive end. Trying to wheel his team back in the game. Down low. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And the Bulls lead by nine. And Markinen is a low down inside close to the bucket. When he's got nice positioning, he's really comfortable inside. White against Irving. Now here's Levert. Tight defense on him. And you know the athletic Levert makes these forays to the goal and does a good job drawing fouls in the process. And the free throw drops for Levert. Well, you know what? I think you got to be excited about Levert's potential. This kid seems to get better and add more to his game every year. And Brooklyn making a change here. Durant's checked in. Right the pass to the general. And Jordan sends it back. They recover it. Carter with the bucket. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially, Greg, when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Here's the general, guarded by Jordan. Here's the general. That one doesn't go. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Here's Irving. 
tries again. Rebound by the Bulls. Markinen's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's the general covered by Irving. Here's the general. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. That's good from the general. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Nets trail by 11. Outside Irving. Out to KD. Let's it go from deep. And no good that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. White looking around. Shoots over Dinwiddie. And the Bulls with another miss. Stolen by Carter. Good work there as it goes. Carter's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. <laughs> and at nearly seven feet tall, Durant is a prime time threat to pound one down. Got to keep him away from the rim. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Zach Levine. And his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. You can just tell he loves being the bad guy. These fans were ready to celebrate tonight. And boy, has he ever ruined the party. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for Brooklyn. Trailing by 13. Lavert in the corner. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. And the Nets making a change here. That's good from the general. Brooklyn's gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Jordan finds Dinwiddie. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. And that quick first step of Dinwiddie, very dangerous once he gets a foot advantage on the deep. Chicago leading by 14. One forty-one left in the fourth quarter. Here's the general. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Durant the pass to Claxton. Puts the move on. Two points. That one goes. And Durant just great at picking apart the defense. When they leave one of his guys open, he is quick to get the ball to them. Chicago's gotten a three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. And it back. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And Chicago shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. And, guys, that's just about going to do it here for game five. Always pivotal. And now we look ahead to a critical game six, but a huge win tonight for the Bulls. You know, their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And that was working all game long. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Zach Levine. Every time there was a big possession or a big play, he was a major contributor. Just a great all-around game. You know, these are exactly the shots, guys, the coaching staff wants Levert to take because they know it gets him going. Here's the general, and Jordan sends it back. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yep, I'd agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. 
Much in the clutch from Spencer Dinwiddie. Up in the ante when the game is on the line. Going for it. And he commits the intentional foul. And now we've got the intentional foul. free throw is good and that makes it a seven point lead and he hits both free throws here so now it's an eight point game Timeout called the Nets. They trail by eight. 16 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. Off the inbound pass. And it's Chicago with the rebound. At one point, they led by 16. Murray with it. So the Bulls win it. People were riding their obituary before this game. <laughs> but this win cast the series in a whole new light now, Greg. And listen, they've still got to win two more. But after seeing how they perform tonight, is there any doubt, Kevin, they're capable of it? I mean, we could be in the midst of a major comeback. No doubt. This broadcast Eastern Conference semifinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports.